whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, what's up, Kanye? What's happening, big guy? What, what, what's with the gun? Oh, nothing. Probably gonna use it to shoot myself or something. Whoa! A lot of hate since we last met. Yeah, sure has. I've gone down a journey of self-acceptance, changing for the better. I'm not even anti-Semitic anymore. Oh, thank God. That was the least of my concerns. But it's only led me to hate in my health. What I said and done, I can't lie with myself. I don't know what to do. Oh, I'm sorry, Kanye. That's a real relatable issue with today's youth. Anyways, why are you in my house? Prank every single one of my albums on my problem. Kill you. You're lucky I don't have anything to do for the next 45 minutes. Okay, but if you can't help me, I'm going to shoot myself to make you watch. Hey, gamers. Damien here. Kanye West. Hold your fire. Love him or hate him, Kanye West is undoubtedly one of the most famous and influential artists of our generation, and has forever shaped our pop culture. Too bad he's falling off the deep end with no signs of getting out. But hey, you know what they say. I separate art from the artist, I separate art from the artist, I separate art from the artist. If you guys are too much of a snowflake and you guys just can't handle me talking about something that I'm passionate about, or your delusional Swifty who gets so caught up in drama that is so old, and can't stand having somebody having a different opinion and music taste than you, then just get out. Because guess what, Nibbles? I like Kanye West. His music, uh, not, not, not him as a person. I want to make that perfectly clear. In my opinion, he has one of the most diverse yet consistent discographies I've ever listened to. Yeah, shockingly, I do listen to music. Um, <laughs> I like, uh, Playboy Cardi, I like Eminem, and then Doom, and the Mark, I like the Creator, I like Basically, I listen to music other than just Venom by Eminem. But Kanye was the first artist that I really dived into. I've been wanting to make this video for years. So let me make what I want! Okay, let's stop wasting time, and let's actually get started on the ranking and stuff. To lay out some ground rules, I am ranking every single officially released album, including collaborative works, no unreleased material, sorry Yandi, and after long consideration, I have decided that I am going to include Donda 2. They came out, I will count it. I'm going off the official track list on Genius and Wikipedia. I'm ranking these albums by overall enjoyment, how good the songs are, and a little bit about how they are overall. If you expect the most like artistically and ingenious uh, ranking of these albums, then you're not gonna get that. Who do you think I am? Anthony Fantano? And my opinions on these songs are gonna be based off this tier list that I made, re-listening to every single Kanye West song. Songs in F tier are songs that I really, really don't like. Songs in D tier are songs that I don't like. C tiers are just songs that I just find. B tiers are songs that I find good or great. A tier is amazing songs, and then S tier is the absolute peak. And okay, before we begin, I just want to get over with some honorable mentions. And by that, I mean I'm going to talk about some singles. Um, American Boy is a banger, even though Rooftop Chug Jug with you. Champions is pretty peak. I like hearing Travis Scott. Also, kind of like Fisher Grave, Watch and Watch Us in the Blood. Keep It Burning is an absolute bop. Too bad it doesn't count on being on Donda 2. It uh, wouldn't change the ranking that much, but at least it would have it. Go to the Moon is a good feature on Hold on Red. I like Rock and Roll with Pusha T. Erase Me with Kid Cudi. Also, Started Up kind of slaps. Only One is a very emotional and sweet song. I love it. Yeah, like you have Roblox song. It's not really good. Good, but I kind of like it. First day out has an amazing Kanye verse. Forever slash with Eminem and Drake. I won is pretty cool, and I love what would Meek do. That Drake diss is fucking incredible, dude. White Dress is really slept on. Christmas in Harlem is my favorite Christmas song ever. Did you guys know that Kanye West did a remix of Billie Jean? I'm a call Michael Jackson. I got a video idea. My bad gang. I completely forgot about Run This Town. I like that song. Um, Yay versus the People is absolute ass. And All Day and Ecstasy aren't far behind. Mama's Boyfriend is an absolute banger. How is this song not released? Never See Me Again, although unreleased, is one of the best and most heartfelt songs I've ever listened to in my life. I would never cry to a Frank Ocean song. I am a man. Be a long time, but you ever see me again. 
But it doesn't matter because Let Yourself is the best song Kanye West has ever fucking made. Whoopie dee scoop. Scoop dee dee whoop. Whoop dee scoop dee poop. Poop dee scoop dee scoop dee whoop. Let me actually rank these songs before Kanye blows my brains out. Hey Kanye, did she put her fingers up your booty? I'm no. Whoopie dee scoop. Scoop dee dee whoop. Jesus is king. Let's be honest, we all knew it was gonna be down here. One of the best things I love about Kanye's discography is that you can tell with every album, he tries to do something different. And it creates a weird sensation where nobody has the exact same Kanye West ranking. However, it is pretty unanimous that this is the weakest album that he's ever put out. This is more of a gospel album, and that's completely fine. There's some value to it. Like the production value is really good. I mean, look at this music video. Huh. I wonder what the lyrics are. Closed on Sunday. Yeah, the main problem is, is that the songs just aren't that good. Not every song is bad. Um, I like every hour. Doesn't really count as a song, but I don't know. The Sunday service sounds nice. On um, God feels like a song off Yeezus, which is pretty weird because this is supposed to be a gospel album. You know what? Giving it actually a fair chance, it actually ain't that bad. God is actually goes pretty hard, not gonna lie. <laughs> Although it sounds like Kanye has a sore throat the entire time. Follow God is low-key of Bob, I ain't gonna lie, but it's just way too short. And all these songs are just low B-tier. However, the only standout in my opinion is Use This Gospel. This was the first ever Kanye song that I listened to. Um, actually, it was Ghost Town and not Use This Gospel. Anyways, that song is really underrated and is a solid A tier. Every other song in this album is absolutely forgettable and bland. Salah is fine. Too much of them saying hallelujah. Everything we need is pretty boring. And then we just have songs that I just hate. Like hands on. And water. Oh, it's water! Oh my gosh! I, I didn't know! Yeah, these songs are all pretty f boring. But none of them compare to what is arguably the worst song Kanye has ever put out. Closed on Sunday. Closed on Sunday. You my chick fil a <laughs> Kanye has some really funny and goofy lyrics. This line is just b -b -b cringe. You my chick fil a And the beat is non existence and it's just ass. This is the only Kanye West album that I would deem not good. Chick fil A? Another one. So, Cruel Summer is a weird one. It's an album ran by Kanye, but features work from a bunch of other artists like Jay Z, Pusha T, Travis Scott, Q Cuddy, Chief Keef, and Say My Name, Baby, DJ Khaled. You smart, you loyal. So, only half of the songs in this album actually have Kanye in it. And um, the only notable ones are the ones that haven't been in it. And I only like five of them. The one is, uh, whatever. I just couldn't get into it for the life of me. And then, uh, To The World isn't that good. What the hell is he saying? Huh? And it has R. Kelly. And the rest of the songs are alright. We have Cold Dot One with DJ Kanye West. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's honestly so funny, and I can't help but love it when the song literally starts with DJ Khaled screaming Kanye's name at the top of his lungs. Shut the fuck up. It's still a low B tier because despite the actually really good Kanye verse, the beat is just so bad. Well, thank you, DJ Khaled. Let's go swimming. And then the rest is actually a high B tier. New God flow is pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie. The rest is A tier with Mercy. It's very overplayed, but you just can't help but love it when it says Lamborghini Mercy. And one of my personal favorites has got to be Click. Like it's just so fire. And my personal favorite just got to be Don't Like. And then you got the other half. 
the non Kanye songs. Uh, this is my reaction. If we broke it off, then you know it wasn't painless. Yeah, they're all C tier, and the only notable one is higher because it's in D tier because it's ass. And when only half of the songs have Kanye in them, and two of them are mid, and then the other half is also mid, you just can't put this album any higher. I love that. I appreciate that. I appreciate Although, I do wish I could call somebody that is a little bit more knowledgeable on music than me, so they can tell me how I'm supposed to feel about songs that I don't care about. Eureka! I got the perfect idea! What's up, nerd? Hey, Reese. I was just wondering if you could give me some music opinions. Sure, what's up? Um, yeah, have you listened to Cruel Summer by Kanye West? Ugh! Get out of here with that normie garbage! Go listen to some swans. James Ferraro, Unwound. Call me back when you listen to some real music. He just hung up. I am Adolf Hitler, command of the Third Reich. Little known fact, also two points of- Donda 2 is kind of a weird one. All because Kanye thought it was such a good idea to release this on a $200 stem player. And the main complaint I've heard about this album is the fact that it's... What the fuck? The main complaint I've heard about this album is just that it's unfinished. And listening to it? Yeah, it's kind of unfinished. But if I'm being honest, this album could have been a lot worse. The only song I dislike is Get Lost. Like, where is the beat? What the actual f*** is am I listening to? Huh? The other songs that I just think are fine is Louie Bags, It's Weird, The Beat Is Weird, and I don't really like Jack Harlow. Too Easy just has way too bad other tunes. Selfish is boring as Baba Booey. Lord Lift Me Up is boring. I'm not opening up this tweet. Boobies. Sci-Fi was this close to being good. I really like the Kim Kardashian sample. It just feels like something's missing. She's a hobbit! But, but the rest is actually pretty solid, even if it's probably like a low B tier. Broken Road is nice, but it's just way too damn short. Flowers is kind of a bop, not gonna lie. And Happy as well, although the mixing is kind of weird on it. Security is a little overrated in my opinion, but oh man, it does make me shit for my timbers. Why are you this I got enough security for this. Oh, I'm sorry! Pablo is catchy as hell. And Easy is the weakest single that is released. I like the beat and the lyrics. I love you, man. I love you too, Kanye. But my favorite part of the song is gotta be the album cover. And then we get some high beat here, shockingly, but first time in a long time. I don't know, this song makes me just really happy. Uh, True Love is a great opener, and it's actually finished, but then there's We Did It Kid. Oh my god, this song is so good, and it's Loki a banger. How the hell is this not released? But then we actually got one A tier with City of Gods with Felicia Keys and Playboy Cardi! Honestly, this album could have been way worse. It would have been better if the songs were actually finished. SHIT! Was Hitler really bad? WHAT?! What if he was trying to get rid of these demons? <laughs> he starts the 8 out of 10 and above album. Yeah, I told you, I like his music. But this album is just kind of forgettable overall for me. There's only like seven songs on it, and only one of them I don't really like, and that's Wouldn't Leave. It's just kind of a nothing burger. But honestly, I've had worse nothing burgers. I Thought About Killing You is a little overrated. It just yeah, takes a while yeah, for it to get yeah, going, but once it does get going, it is pretty good. Then we got some mid B tier with All Mine, a mid B, but with amazing lyrics. I love your titties cause they prove I'm gonna focus on keep this one. None of us would be here without come. Hey. Say what you will, he's not wrong. Yikes, Loki goes hard, I'm not gonna lie. I like the N words, the Kanye jump. <laughs> Then we get some high B with no Angle mistakes, hat. not gonna lie, it's kinda underrated. And then Violet Crimes, a great ass song. Dreaming, falling, dreaming. But those are all just kinda great. And then you get Ghost Town, a top 5 Kanye song. Oh my god, this song is so absolutely incredible. 
I recommend this song to any Kanye West hater. Your life will be changed forever. Oh my God. I can't. This album was overall still state, solid, though. To... Hold on, this train going by. Where is he? <gasps> He's in Paris. <laughs> okay. So funny story about Watch the Throne. I'm in my US history class and we watched The Great Gatsby. Decent movie. But out of nowhere, no church in the wild starts playing. They're so out of place. Kanye West did not exist in the 1920s. Anyways, um, the album is pretty great too. However, one half of the album is really, really, really good. And then the other half is kind of ass. That's my bitch. Why I love other. The joy and illest motherfucker alive are just all mid with messy deets. <laughs> then we have some D tier songs with Made in America. And justice to be served on a piping hot platter of freedom. Welcome to the jungle. And then ham. Oh, this ham. All my homies hate ham. If there are seriously any ham enjoyers out there, please call me. I would love to know. Oh, we have a caller. Hello. I just had this weird hunch that you were talking about Jay Z and Kanye West's 2011 song collaboration. Ham. ham is such a great song. It's so good. It literally started the collab. That Kanye West, you know, it just started with Throne. Yeah, it was I just got to skip baby toilet. Oh my god! Yeah, come back to me when you have a better opinion. Mr. Grizzly, Mr. Grizzly. And then New Day. This song fits perfectly in the bottom Kanye songs. But then the other half is peak, I swear. Who Gon' Stop Me is a little bit messy, but it goes hard, and I really like the sample. Whoa! And Prime Time is great. Not my personal favorite, though. But the rest are solid A tiers. Gotta Have It has a banger beat. I love Lift Off by Beyonce. No Church in the Wild gives me U.S. History PTSD. Otis is a classic. Murder to Excellence is so good on re-listen. I mean, I should have known that. Uh, it was in the trailers for Black Adam. Anything in Black Adam gotta be beat. It's time for India versus Pakistan. But of course, my favorite song is the one about Paris. 2020, there will be a little bit of a nigga over 19. Here coming 19, that's what he said. So all young better wash your hands. Overall, great album. Bro, this is the second fucking time. Donda, 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 Donda. You know, I've said a lot of crap about Donda in the past. Can you show the Captain Underpants movie soundtrack is better than Donda? Definitely better than Donda. And I will be honest, it is better than Donda. I mean, it's better than Jesus is King. It's not better than Donald. How do I feel about it now? Well, I've definitely grown to appreciate it. It feels like what Jesus is King should have been. But man, this album is so bloated. Like, you wanna know what my reaction to these songs are? Nothing. It better be like, hi, with a bunch of eyes, or hey. I don't give a sh- What the f*** of the part 2? They're unnecessary. Remote Control could have been perfectly fine as a low C tier song, but then Kanye just had the perfect idea to add the fucking Go Go Gab Galab meme at the end. Why the f*** did he use that sample? Congratulations! You're in D tier now. And I really don't like God Breathed either. And then, you get, without a shadow of a doubt, the worst song Kanye has ever made. Tell the Vision! It's the biggest piece of dog shit. What is this shit? But you got Donda Chant. Everybody Donda, loves Donda, Donda Chant. Donda, 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 Donda. But other than that, every other song is pretty solid. Mostly B tiers, but 
you know. Heaven and hell, Lord, I need you. Keep my spirit alive. Are all solid. Come to life is very angelic. To life. Junior slaps. Jesus, Lord, is a little too long for me, but it's still a really solid song. But I'm just reaching for the stars like Buzz Lightyear. 24 makes me reconsider throwing microwaved honey buns at the homeless. Praise God has a banger opening. No Child Left Behind is a grave ending track. He's done. You got the uncle in the comments and stuff. Oh, yo, what the fuck you be posting, bruh? <laughs> Life of the party is also a bop. Hey, Miss Donda, you run into my mama, please tell her I said say something. Moon makes me want a nut in my pants. <laughs> Off the grid slaps with Playboy Cardi. Oh, stop, stop me, Fred and Cardi. Jail is an amazing song that makes me think about all the things I do to. Believe what I say slaps. Hurricane is absolutely amazing. But I don't know if this is just me, but every time I listen to it, I think of picture my booty up in 3D. See this in 3D. All lights out for me. I don't know if this is gonna be a hot take. But my favorite song of the album is Pure Souls. It is an absolute banger. And it has an amazing verse. It ain't how I used to be. Just to know me, so get used to me. Looking in the mirror is the truth for me. Looking at my kids is the proof for me. Devil get behind me, I'm loose, I'm free. Father, Holy Spirit, let loose on me. Father, I'm yours exclusively. The truth is only what you get away with, huh? That's what I'm talking about. But so overall, might not be as bad as I remember. But is it better than the Captain on the Pants soundtrack? Get back to me on that. Okay, you the king, Burger King. After long last, Vultures has finally released. No, for real, don't play like that. Are you are you serious? The first album, Post Yetla. And um, we're just gonna ignore any uh, possible anti Semitic reactions. <laughs> Let's see how good the album is. Shout out Josie from South East Springs, what's up? Kanye, are you sure that you're no longer anti Semitic? So, at least radically to be allowed. Mm hmm. Yeah. Okay, um, this album just came out, so my opinion might change over time, but. I thought it was gonna come out way sooner. I survived the Vultures rollout of 2024. It is February 10th. And I knew this album wasn't gonna come out on time. That's why I filmed that intro so I could edit this entire video right before the album came out. Walt Disney, Walt Disney, Nike, Nike, Google. So I could capitalize on it. I'm a I'm a and I was right because you, you see how long this video is. But I wanted to re record for this segment because oh my god, so much has changed. Like so many songs got scrapped, like New Body and other songs. And everybody. <laughs> one in a pink, one in a um, stink. That was uh that was really bad. But they're probably gonna be on the other two volumes. So we know that we're gonna be eating good. But is it worth the hype? Yes. Yes it is. <laughs> Stars is very chill and angelic, but it just can't replace Okay, you're the king! Burger King. <laughs> Key to my life is also great and I love some of the lines. But the mixing isn't the best for me. Pain is also a low B tier, but it's pretty catchy in my opinion. Talking is a real highlight for me because of Don't try to test me. It's gonna get messy. 
I honestly don't get why some people don't like it. And I like how it was mixed with the song that went, Shout out from Jonesy from Salty Springs, what's up? It didn't keep that line, what by the, the way. Fuck? Back to me is the low A tier for me. I fuck with it heavy. I can tell you one thing. Beautiful big titty butt naked women just don't fall out the sky, you know? Hood Rat is a certified hood classic. She fell in love with the sword. I sliced, I diced, I hit it from the back. Ah, boom. Do it is another banger. The mixing is just uh, chef's kiss. I hated paperwork when I first listened to it. I just can't vibe with the beat. Moto Moto likes you. Definitely my least favorite on the album. But Burn is a high A tier. It is honestly one of the best Kanye songs that we've gotten in a long time. He's not entertained by my pain. Who ain't cash a check on my name? Burn, baby, burn. Sometimes it hurts. I guess I never learn. But something is so good. It got both Travis Scott and Alvin in the shit mode. Look at this stupid I really like the final version of Vultures. I never really hated it to begin with. I really like it. In that song's defense, it does have some pretty musical passages on it. Then we get my niggas putting belt to ass pull up with the switches. Carnival seems to be the fan favorite within the community. And I kind of agree, it is low-key a banger with some amazing Kanye lines. This the Game of Thrones, Yeezy not the clones, Elon wear my rocket ship, it's time to go home. And it has Playboy Cardi! Playboy Cardi, what? Playboy Cardi, please, if you can hear us, what? please save us. Playboy Cardi. And it samples hell of a life, because fuck Ozzy Osbourne. And then there's Beg Forgiveness. It's a pretty good emotional track with nice lines, but it just goes on for too long in my opinion. Good Don't Die gives me mad 808s and heartbreak vibes, and that alone kind of carries it. I really like Problematic. It kind of feels like an homage to a bunch of Kanye songs, like I really love the Soul of Paul reference. But I'll never forgive Kanye for edging me for making me think it was Bound 2. And King is a solid B tier ending track. They motherfucking made the Twix dump the size trying to make us fat. And he is the King! Burger King! Why is it called Burger King? Why isn't it bald? Overall, it was definitely worth the wait. But do I think he will make the other two? Definitely not on time. Let me get. Okay. Yep, I got it. Okay, love you too. 808s and Heartbreak starts the 9 out of 10 or higher albums. Yeah, it's peak. This album is credited to popularizing auto tune and has inspired many artists. It's just not my favorite though. The only song I don't like is See You My Nightmare. God, this song is bad. Bottom 5 without a doubt. And then there's Pinocchio's Story, which is a little overhated. Yeah, it's not really a good song because it's a live performance. But honestly, on listening to it, I'm like, oh my god. I, I get it. I mean, think about it. The song is about Kanye wishing that he was a real boy. Basically, he wishes he wasn't famous so people could listen to him and he struggles. Nobody can. And it's amplified by the fact that it's a live recording and you can barely hear him sing over the crowd. Does it make a good song? No. In B tier, we got bad news. I probably shouldn't really like, but I kinda like it still. I actually like Robocop. And I really like Say You Will, but oh my god, I realize how long the outro is. And then everything else is solid A tier. Street Lights is so. Good. <laughs> Polis Winter got me through a lot and it's one of my personal favorites. Welcome to Heartbreak is an absolute bop. <laughs> Love Lockdown is a banger. Paranoid Slap. What did Diesel do? 
amazing as well. Amazing. <laughs> then we got the one S tier with Heartless. You wanna tell your friends that you're leaving me? They say that they don't see what you see in me. You wait a couple months, then you gon' see. You'll never find nobody better than me. However, let's be completely fair here. A fish is better. I've been so lonely, girl. I've been so sad and down. Couldn't understand why haters joked around. I wanted to be free with other creatures like me. And now I got my wish. Cause I know that I'm a gay fish. Gay fish. Gay fish, yo. Life of Pablo is another banger. If not just a little messy. Again, there's just way too much B tier songs, and the only song I dislike is Freestyle War. Holy shit! This is my garbage. It is doo doo, and the skits kinda suck. Except I love Kanye. Shape up the gold Kanye, chop up the soul Kanye, set on his goals Kanye. I hate the new Kanye. I just thought about what I love. But the rest of the songs absolutely slap. And I don't care, I like part two. It goes hard. Huh. Panda. I think I know somebody who would like that song. I don't know, I forgot. I'm gonna get some water. I got broads in I like FML, although it's a little too slow. I like feedback. Fade kinda slaps. 30 hours slaps my willy and calls me silly. Real Friends is a absolute banger and facts goes unbelievably hard. The rest is an A tier. Waves is also so overhated, like, I don't get it. Your highlights is a absolute highlight for me. It has really grown on me. Ultralight Beam is beautiful. I met Kanye hey, good West, morning, Kanye. Wolves is amazing, cause of course it is. You try to play nice, everybody yeah, just took so advantage. You oh, left your mother fucking stand with me. And then there's famous. I don't care about some stupid Taylor Swift line. It slaps. Stay mad. Girls that got dick from Kanye West. And then we get the S tiers where Father stretch my hands. No matter how overplayed it is, it still slaps to this day. Now if I fuck this model, and she just bleach her asshole, and I get bleach on my t-shirt, I'ma feel like an asshole. Saint Pablo is amazing. Yeah, you're looking at the church in the night sky. But my personal favorite song, No More Parties in LA. God, Kendrick and Kanye is a unstoppable force, and I need them to make more songs together. If anybody dislikes a song, I must have them carefully studied because they cannot be real. I don't know how controversial this placement is gonna be. But I'm not the biggest fan of late registration. It's literally still a 9 out of 10 album. Please don't kill me. I just like the other album better. The only songs I don't like is Addiction. I just can't get into it for the life of me. Everything that's supposed to be bad and make me feel so good. What the f does that mean, Kobe Bryant? I don't know if this counts, but I don't fuck with the non remix version of Diamonds from Sierra Le Leon. <laughs> I'm so used to the remix that the weird differences just really bother me in this one. Then every other song is great, but just has too much B tears in my opinion. I didn't love Celebration at first, but it kind of grew on me. The lyrics are funny. Late is a little boring for me, but it's a great ending track. Fuck out the way. Same with Roses, it makes me want to be a good person. Drive Slow is a chill song, and it helps me remember what I don't do when I drive. Bring Me Down is low-key underrated. Ooh, whoa! And Crack Music is low-key a banger. And then we got some A-tier song. Hear Em Say is a chill vibe, but the transition is probably crazy! Wake up, Mr. Webb! Mr. Webb! Ah! Oh, oh, yeah! Gone is also so underrated. And we Major is a little too long, but oh my god, I cannot stress enough how good- Can I talk my Can shit talk again? My And then Gold Digger is overplayed, but it's absolutely amazing. It's some Oscar shit right there. Take my money when I'm in need. 
But then we got a couple S tiers. Diamonds from Siri on the remix. Hey Mama. It is one of the best songs that he's ever made and is honestly heartbreaking seeing a clip of Kanye unable to perform it with the past tense. But my favorite song has gotta be Touch the Sky. I love this song so much. I'm a touch the sky. I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. God, this album is so great. It's just not my favorite. But at the exact same time, how can I ever forget the silly adventures of Broke, 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 Fight Broke? There is a imposter among us. Dog Man, the musical. Jesus is definitely an inspired case. Some people are gonna love it, some people don't like it. I like it. A lot of other albums have grown in me over time. In comparison, this album has decreased in me over time. But at the exact same time, it's I've also in my grown code. to still like this album. Ralph? I like every song on here, but songs like I Am In It, Eating Asian Pussy, y'all, Pussy, little sweet and sour sauce, put my fist in, I like a civil rights I, like I do understand why some people don't like it. You telling me they don't look at me like the motherfucking glitch? And I am a god. I just told you who I thought I was. A god! Damn so but the rest of the songs I do vibe with. Guilt Trip has kind of grown on me and send it up. And then every other song is like a solid A tier. Hold My Liquor is amazing, but on rewatch it kind of fell off. Bitch, I'm back out my coma. On site is so funny. There are over a thousand videos under On Site by Kanye West. 95% of them are time lapse trail cam videos of bears. <laughs> But honestly, it hits you so hard with that. New slaves. Now that is Pete. You see his leaders and his followers, but I'd rather be a dick than a swallower. So I can smash that recorder, say that confuses with some bullshit Then we have S tier bangers with Black Skin Head Oh my god this song is so hype Although 300 was the Spartans, not the Romans Kanye you Baba boy. idiot Blood on the leaves, oh my god And then we have a top three Kanye track with Found Two. Oh my God, this song is absolutely incredible. Close your eyes and let the word paint a thousand pictures. One good girl is worth a thousand bitches. Bam! I wanna fuck you hard on the sink. After that, give you something to drink. It's no, you're tired. Too bad Kim Kardashian's a hobbit. One thing I know, my girl ain't no hobbit. She might be stumpy, that don't mean she a hobbit. She's not a hobbit cause she couldn't be. She got no baggages in her family tree. I love Kids See Ghosts. Yeah, it's really short. It doesn't have that oomph that the other albums have. But man, if this album isn't consistent, then I don't know what is. Even the ones I'm not the biggest fan of, like Fire and Feel the Love, still absolutely slap. And I've never been the biggest fan of Cuddy's montage. Honestly, it's, it's grown on me. But oh my god, every other song is a banger A tier. Fourth Dimension is so good, even yeah, though it seven. has those weird ass Listen. laughs in it. If I get locked up, I'm gonna finish the set. I never got the hate with free. It's literally Ghost Town Part 2. I feel free. Kids see Ghost is so underrated. 
I like breakfast in bed, but I love breakfast ahead. And yet, we still got an S tier song with Reborn. It's simply so motivating. I'm so, I'm so reborn. I'm moving forward. And this whole album is just simply amazing and so close to being a 10 out of 10. It can't live up to the perfection of these next three. What the hell? Another color? Don't they say they are in the middle of something? Hello? Hey, uh, just here to say that you're wrong and kids see ghosts as hot ass. It's literally the epitome of garbage. I can't see how anybody could genuinely enjoy that thing. Everything about it sucks. Lyrics, quality, production. It's all god awful. Um, and if you like kids see ghosts, then you might be something wrong with you. No, scratch that. There's what? definitely something wrong with you. Yeah! Wrong! Fortnite balls. I'm gay. I like boys. College Dropout is blood for a reason. There's no skips on this album. And I don't judge skips or interludes in these rankings at all. But the way these ones connect to create a great story and one that's shockingly relatable from a man that has been consumed by his ego and pride is Fortnite so shocking pass. and so refreshing. I, I think that's why so many people love this album to this day. And I honestly recommend the Genius documentary on Netflix. It perfectly documents this era of Kanye's career that I think is what made people be so connected with his work to begin with. And is the reason why people still stick around with him to this day. Anyways, back to the actual album. The only songs that I'm not the biggest fan of is Get Em High, just to get my favorite. Same with Breathe In, Breathe Out, but they're both catchy as hell. And School Spirit definitely does suffer due to the censors, but the beat is still good to the point where I still like it. And then we go into high B tier with Family Business. This is family business, and this is for the family that can't be with us. And then we got new workout plan. I can't help but love it. But the rest is all A tier and beyond. Never Let Me Down is so underrated, but I love it a lot. Slow Jams is amazing. I love Jamie Fox. Light skin friend look like Michael Jackson got a dark skin friend look like Michael Jackson. Look at you looking at the glitz on my hands. Yo, this is going crazy fast. Two worlds is. Mm. All Falls Down is a little overplayed in my head, but come on. It's just so amazing. We don't set this part. Now tell me that ain't insecure. They're coming forward with all of these lies to monetize her demise. And last call is simply incredible. This is the last call for alcohol for the. So, but damn, it's just way too long. Oh my God, is that a black card? I turn around and reply, why yes, but I prefer the term African American Express. And spaceship! Oh my God! It if my manager insults me again, I will be assaulting him. Then the rest are S tiers. I love We Don't Care. It is oh, yeah. his first track on any album, and it's an incredible and I love it to death. Keep it to yourself, because I don't care. And Jesus Walks is incredible. This is his first big hit. It perfectly encapsulates this time period that people just saw him as a producer. And nobody could have even imagined a song playing on the radio about Jesus. Oh, but stuff about uh, drugs, violence, and sex. Like George yeah, that's Orwell's a book, 1984. And yet, the struggle is perfectly encapsulated in just this one verse. And then the song came out, and it was the biggest hit at the time. And simply incredible, and encapsulates what makes this album so good. I wanna talk to God, but I'm afraid cause we focus so long. My favorite song of the album has to be through the wire. It's simply incredible. The fact that Kanye got into a tragic car crash and nearly took his own life. Leaving his jaw broken, leaving many to think that he'd I'm never sure be able to speak again. Two weeks after, he goes back into the studio with his mouth wired, 
and he records one of his best songs ever. <laughs> but just can't compete to my two favorite albums of all time. Everybody wants to know what I would do if I didn't win. I guess we'll never know. These next two albums are two of my favorite albums of all time. And we're really hard to rank. Get to it already. Like we always do with this time. I go for mine. I guess to shine. And throw your hands up in the sky. He made graduation. He made graduation. Yeah. Uh, this album is amazing. Wow, 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 wow. And this could have easily been number one. Because this album has probably my favorite batch of Kanye songs ever. Only if it didn't have a brain tumor in the middle, aka Drunk and Hot Girls. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Never gonna be now, I'm really mad. But that's the only big misfire in my opinion. And I tolerate to Barry Bonds. But oh my god, if it doesn't bring the album to an absolute screeching halt after the amazing six track run. But uh, let's just see what song's next. Every other song in this album is an absolutely amazing. Good Night is a great ending. It makes me really eepy. Big Brother is a banger. Was Big's brother used to be Jane and Big's brother? And the glory now that kind of goes hard. <laughs> and then every other song is like high A tier. Stronger is very, very, very overplayed, but it still slaps to this day. I love everything I am. Good morning is the perfect opener. Look at the valedictorian, scared of the future while I hop in the Lorian. Homecoming has grown on me so much over the years. Do you think about me now and then? Yeah, do you think about me now and then? I met this girl when I was three years old. And what I love most, she had so much soul. She said, excuse me, little homie. I know you don't know me, but can't tell me nothing. I had a dream, I could buy my way to heaven. La, la, yeah. la, la, wait till I get my money right. Excuse me, is you saying something? Uh uh, you can't tell me nothing. I really love Champion, it's always been a fan favorite for me. Yes, I did. So I packed it up and brought it back to the crib. Flashing lights, come on, everybody loves the song. I'm just saying, hey Mona Lisa, come home. You know you can't roam As without I Caesar. Recall, I know you love to show off, but I never thought that you would take it this far. I hate these niggas. Hold up. Um. And then we have top ten Kanye with I Wonder. To find your dream and I find And then we have my personal favorite Kanye song of all time. Like we always do with this time. I go for mine, I guess to shine. Now throw your hands up in the sky. Oh my god, I don't care how much I listen to it, this song is absolutely amazing. It is so hype, it always gets me in a good mood, and the PYT sample is absolutely incredible. And this song perfectly encapsulates his work as an artist, and one of my favorite songs of all time. This whole album is absolutely perfect, and I'll be listening to this on my high school graduation, and I may or may not not skip Drunken Hot Girls. We did mean after graduation! Wake, wake up, it's time for school! Come on! Wake up, it's time for school! Come on, man! And now, we finally made it. My favorite Kanye West album of all time.
My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy is probably the best album of all time. You can there put that on my gravestone. Made during the most controversial time of Kanye's career oh, well, up until 2023, Kanye went away to Hawaii and he came back with one of the most beloved albums of all time. I am feeling a strong five to a light six. I used to look up to you, man. Even the interludes are amazing. This is the greatest game. Not a single skip on this album. My least favorite is probably Blame Games. Simply because the Chris Rock skit just goes on for too long. But honestly, it's still so funny. Yo, you took your pussy game up a whole nother level. This is some Circus Soleil pussy now. Soul Pauls, now that's an absolute banger. I mean, the shit is fucking ridiculous. But would you rather be underpaid or overrated? Every other song is incredible. I love Lost in the World. And Hell of a Life is, in my opinion, Kanye's most underrated song ever. So I'm beating my meat, bro. And I totally don't love it simply because Kanye knows it. Totally nothing. Monster Slap. Nicki Minaj verse definitely carries it. Oh no, nobody. <laughs> Every other song is an S tier. Dark Fantasy is an incredible opener. Look like a fat booty Celine Dion. Sex is on fire. I'm the king of Leon. The trick it to the pain over. But what's the worst? The pain or the pain. Too bad that Howard Hamlin ruined it. The One Piece is real. Can we get much All the Lights is one of the first Kanye songs I ever listened to. And it's an absolute banger in the shower. Power is so overplayed nowadays, but it was in Black Adam, so... Then we have top 10 Kanye songs with Devil in a New Dress. Put your hands to the constellations. The way you look should be a sin. You my sensation. Hair cycles were easy before his mouth wired. Before his jaw shattered, climbing up the Lord's ladder. I don't know what to say about some of these songs, dude. We have run no away. Way. No way, you're gonna die. Just run away. Run away. Kanye's most popular best song. You know the song is good when it doesn't even feel like it's nine minutes. The amount of times that I've cried to this song is just too much to count. With a beautiful melody, amazing verses, and a great ending with so much meaning and interpretation. What the fuck? And I always find, yeah, I always find something wrong You've been putting up with my shit just way too long This whole song is about his acceptance of the media's perception of him and his criticism and even his failed relationships and honestly the song is pretty timeless as the issues addressed in this song is relevant to this day Much of a romantic. I could never take the intimacy. Let's have a toast for the douchebags. Let's have a toast for the assholes. Let's have a toast for the scumbags. Everyone and them that I know. Let's have a toast for the jerk offs. Gotta never take work off. Baby, I gotta run away fast as you can. It's simply incredible and one of the best songs of all time. But it isn't my favorite because oh my Boy. god, I love gorgeous. Oh, wow, 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 wow. 
the beat is absolutely incredible and is so hype and these verses oh my god these three verses back to back to back i swear to god these are kanye's best verse that he's ever concocted Penitentiary chances, the devil dances and eventually answers to the call of autumn. All them falling for the love of falling. But this pimp is at the top of Mount Olympus, ready for the world's games. This is my Olympics. We make them say oh, cause the game's so pimpish. Choke a South Park writer with a fish stick. That y'all, it's like that y'all. I don't really give a fuck about it at all. Cause the same people that try to blackball me forgot about two things my black balls. Fortnite balls. I'm on the end, so why you playing? I'm saying I will never, ever let you live this down, down, down. The only thing I can really say about that song and this entire album as a whole is that it is legit a banger. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy is without a doubt the best Kanye album of all time. This is my giant tier list ranking every single song, and that is every single Kanye West album ranked. Kanye, you know you didn't need to force me against my will to make me do this. I like your music already! I don't know, I thought it'd be funny. Chat, is this video funny? funny. Look, Kanye. You just need to focus on yourself. Try and remember what made people like you in the first place. Your art. I know it seems almost impossible based on how you are the way that you are, but maybe things will get better. And at the very least, stop breaking into my house. Thank you, Damon. You're right and handsome. I love you. I love you too, Kanye. Well, until we meet again, Damon, God did. God did. It will be a long time before you ever see me again. <gasps> what is this? Be Kanye? The certified drink that turns you into Kanye West? Wow. That's awesome. Kidnapped artistic kids, little Moses.